We're making the hike up to the mountains. I see cows in the distance, the big fog behind me, beautiful lush valley, and soon speck. Welcome to Speckfest. As you can hear by the singing in the background, and you can see the incredible mountains, we are at a full-on party, all in the name of Speck. Speck, as you can see, it is a type of it's a pork product. It's very similar to prosciutto, made with the this part. I call this the prosciutto, the, the back, the hind leg. And unlike prosciutto, it is cured and then smoked, which really gives it that, you know, smoky, wonderful, nuanced flavor. And this is very, really, the real quality of speck comes from the fat. All the flavor is there, and the more fat, the better. With that smoky flavor, it's really incredible. I like to think of it as prosciutto's sexy cousin. And we're here in just this whole festival, where all these people have gathered is in honor of this meat. We are going to eat a lot of it and buy a lot of it, and I'm going to show you some really cool things you can do in cook. We've just sat down and started our first of what will be many meals over the course of the day. We have the classic platter of speck. We have some pickles, some other um, traditional cheeses, alpine cheeses from the area, a nice half of well potato. That guy's really loud. Some bread, and this is also a typical crispy bread. And of course, our dessert. Basically, a fancy little funnel cake, and it's awesome. Traditional apple juice. This area is known for their apples and beer. And it's just an amazing time. I mean, look at the view around us. It's incredible. It's so funny where we made it. <laughs> reconstituted and filled with speck and then cooked in broth and smothered in butter. Sounds terrible, right? And then, so... What's not to love? And then, a little penne with speck and some porcini mushrooms. It's a great way to cook with speck. You can use it instead of like a bacon or pancetta. It's a wonderful smokiness and flavor. Wash it all down. Apple juice, because I feel like I'm five years old. Music in the background. It's not exactly a perfect day, but it's still pretty beautiful, despite the rain. Definitely worth the trip. So if you ever find yourself hungry for spec and adventure, make it down to Spec Fest. It's, I can't tell you where to go because it's in the middle of nowhere, but I will tell you it's totally worth it. Thanks for watching The Gastro Nerd Abroad. I'm Julianne Fader. Stay tuned for more delicious adventures to come.